All right, this one looks really hard at first. It's not nearly as hard as it looks, though it is still tricky. How do you do it? Well, we're fortunate here in the fact that the thing under the square root is a perfect square. Think about it. If you think about factoring it, it is x minus 3 quantity squared. And then you look at that and you might be jumping for joy. Square root of a square. I can get rid of the square root in the square. I can integrate x minus 3. No, not so fast. The square root of the square of a number is not equal to the number. It's equal to the absolute value of the number. Which, of course, does equal the number when the number is greater than or equal to 0. But if the number is negative, they're not equal. So I really should think of this in terms of the absolute value. 